Hey everyone, James Reeves, SHOT Show 2022 on the SHOT Show floor here at POF. POF, introducing a new product. I have no idea what it could possibly be because there haven't been any hints. There's no, I haven't seen any marketing for it at all. So this is a complete surprise for me with this brand new gun. What is it, John? Hi, so John Caps from Patriot Ordnance Factory. This is our new Phoenix 9mm sub gun. So it's... Uh, 17 and a half inches long and it's 4.6 pounds. It's a very small, lightweight sub gun, PCC style. Um, we kind of prided ourselves on making this as small as possible and as light as possible. So um, it is a direct blowback 9 mil, um, which may be seen as a negative by some, but the way we were able to get it as small as possible was making it. And we figured, hey, it's reliable. It's been proven before in the past. and. I mean, we've shot thousands and tens of thousands of rounds through one gun and no issues. I mean, it's still a popular format for yeah. that exact rate. It's simple, it's easy to manufacture, you can keep things small, so it makes yeah. sense, I get it. Yeah, so I mean, it is a weighted blowback, so we did add weight. Uh, again, not optimal for recoil, but with us being able to keep that weight um, centralized on the recoil, so it's very a manageable recoil, really fast on the double, double shots. and. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, it's just a really fun sh point shooter. I mean, it's... Nine mil. Nine mil. Obviously. Are you guys doing Glock mags? So it's a proprietary mag. Uh, we did that for a few reasons. I mean, we've actually been working on this project for quite a few years. We've tried it in all different, like, formats, and we tried it with all different mags. And we liked some things from all of them. You know, we loved the Glock pattern mags. But a lot of people make Glock pattern mags and a lot of aftermarket companies that aren't so desirable make them. And so we didn't want people picking up those, putting in the gun and then thinking it's the gun that's the issue. But we did like that it was single feed, you know, a lot of reliable if you just bring the round up to the chamber. Single feed has been pretty reliable over since, you know, the early war. So um, we decided to do double stack single feed on our mag here, which is right here. And that way, it can feed reliably every single time, but you can still get the capacity out of the mag. It's a 35 round mag. Um, we also decided to do a proprietary mag because this lower receiver uses an AR-15 fire controls and lower parts kit completely. And oh, completely. So completely. this, oh, it, very interesting. There's okay. no, besides our already used POF proprietary parts, everything in here is from an AR-15 lower parts kit. Level with me though. See, that's a little dangerous when you're talking about the trigger. Can I use an AR-15 trigger without any negative repercussions? This is a mil spec. The only thing we're using is KNS anti-walk pins kind of to add value to it. Yeah, sure. Um, but no, we use a, a straight up, I've done bolt speed testings on this. And unlike other PCCs that are just direct blowback, right. they don't check their bolt speeds. They are, they're going really fast. They break disconnects. They That's damage exactly hammer it. pins. Yes. Yeah, no, we're very aware of that. Um, I have a Colt pattern right, uh, full auto gun myself, and I know the issues that arise with that. So, um, Walk me through the features then, back to front. Like I see we've got 1913. You guys have also integrated a little a sling swivel. Yeah, so it ships with the, the, the sling. So we didn't want to, we wanted to give the users some, you know, their decision of what they wanted for a stock right. or a brace or anything. So we put a QD in there so it will ship with something at all, like a QD sling, single point sling. But yeah, it's a Picatinny rear end, so it'll use all those 1913 style folding stocks and collapsible stocks and everything like that. Um, going forward, um, you know, like I said, ambidextrous controls, kind of like what we kind of are known for on our on our AR-15s, and then um, billet lower. Uh, like I said, mil spec, so you can do all the fancy upgrades like you would on any other AR-15 lower parts kit stuff. Um, weighted blowback. And it looks like a monolithic upper. Monolithic upper. Which also, it, this basically makes it like a fancy tube gun, you know? It, like it, it is. So again, AR, you know, background, right? So the bore height on this to the top Picatinny rail is the exact same height as an AR-15. So you're not going to get any unique, like, you know, you don't have to get super high risers or super low risers, which again, competitors usually have a super high rail, and this is the same as an AR-15. And which was difficult, and that kind of was like kind of our window of operation. Mm -hmm. Charging handle, what's that? Talk so, to me. Non-reciprocating folding charging handle, kind of an HK, an older HK style one. Um, can be mounted on either side, kind of like the SCAR, uh, but it's a short, foldable, non-reciprocating charging handle. 
and it looks like you've got it covered with like this label here, but you're doing M lock. It seems yeah, like it's, it's hard is to it see. yeah three six and nine or is the uh, this uh, hand stop is that integrated? So the hand guard, uh, the hand stop's not integrated. It is M lock, so technically it can be removed right. with some, and put something in its place. It's three six and nine. The six is only uh, two spots, uh, and then the sides are three. Half by 28, I assume. Half by 28, yeah. It comes with that muzzle device. It comes with a dual port. It's a newer, uh, we don't, this is releasing with the gun as well. It's a dual port, half by 28 muzzle brake. Yeah. John, how much is it going to cost and when does it come out? MSRP is going to be $16.99 and it's going to come out about mid, start shipping in like mid February. John, thanks a ton for being on the program, for answering all of our questions about the Phoenix. Guys, thanks as usual for watching. Stay tuned for more Shot Show 2022.